Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Orfe and today I'm taking you behind the scenes on how I shot these specs ad for Apple. So this was shot with the Blackmagic 6K Pro with the 35 millimeter lens from Canon. And I think I was shooting at 1.4 and Fidelite was laying down on this carpet, this red carpet in the studio we wanted to control the light. I used this painting to block the light coming out of the window because I didn't want it to affect my shot. For my lighting, I used two lights. The main light was a Godox M600D. And for my modifier, I used the Godox P120L dome. And I put it on the floor. I kind of put it a little bit lower just so it can go directly on the model's face. In terms of power for the light, I was at 0.3. That's, that's nothing because I really wanted to be soft the light was closer to the subject and the reason why I have the light this close to my model's face it's simply because I wanted very soft light and very gradient transition between the highlights and the shadows on the white wall I mean it's a little bit beige wall on the the beige wall the light was bouncing off that wall and coming back on the shadow side of her face so what I had to do is add these big black pipes panel to block the light so there was no bounce but this added more definition on the model's face and also since i didn't want the light to hit the rest of a body i added another card on the floor next to her legs just to block the light coming on her body on the second light i'm using the newer ex 60 W. I was shooting at 100% because this light doesn't have a lot of power, but it was enough for me to cast a little bit of window shape on her body and also on her face. To create this shape, I had to use an optical snoot. I'm going to put the link in description for you to check it out. This optical snoot comes with different gobos, different shapes that you can add, but also different gels that you can add in front. So for this one, I I use the orange one because I wanted to cast an orange light. So now let me take you to DaVinci Resolve. In DaVinci Resolve, we're going to go on the color tab. And this is the last edit, the last grading. This is the before we shot in raw. And I'm going to show you my process. The first thing that I did, this is the, uh, the raw footage. The first thing that I did, I throw the uh, color space transform on it to transform my my file. I shot it with the black magic, so I chose black magic um, design white gamut generation four and five, and then input gamma I changed it to film because that's what I shot and um rec 709 and gamma 2.2 a lot of people do different things but for me this works fine and then when i do all of that on the last node i did some adjustments and most of the adjustment that i did and i pulled the contrast a little bit down and um and of course i had to go to my my raw here settings to just change to be able to change the um, to be able to change the color temperature and of course not the iso because of course if you didn't know you can change the iso afterwards with the black magic and also with the red and something else if i don't mistake then on the second node i added the Hanser pro i made some adjustments for the film profile i chose Kodak Portra 400 and um, and I made some you know I went a little bit here and did some you know added a little bit of grain overall I didn't want to have the full this is the full um, effect the film the whole film process but that's not what I wanted I reduced it a little bit no, I mean a lot <laughs> and then at the end I added a little bit of saturation down here 
I reduce, this is what I get. So I'm going to put it back to a little bit of saturation. And then I added on this one, I added the film look that comes with DaVinci Resolve. On the third node, I used the film look that comes with DaVinci Resolve Pro. And you know, there's some other things. I don't remember why I used it, but you know, it adds a, diff a little bit of definition. And for this node, I muted it because that's not what I wanted. I didn't want to have that rich uh, rich warm colors so that, that that was it for the photos because i wanted to have something also for my um you know for my social media i wanted to have something that looked a little bit like an ad and not only for my social media but just thinking about a full ad so full ads comes with you know a kind of a little film a little video and you have photos so i used the same lighting it was continuous light i didn't want to use flash for this because you know i was not in the mood to move a lot of things so those are the images that i that i shot this is the before this is straight out of camera and this is the after because my goal with my edit i wanted to match a little bit what i did on the video so let me take you so those those are some of the shots that i took and uh, this is the before and this is the after and what i did to be honest i really wanted to match a little bit um this the, the same thing that i did on video to have a cohesive type of media or type of work so i shot this with the canon r5 and the sigma 50 millimeter at the 2.2 this is those are my settings i think i shot 11 images or something like that no 12 so those are oh wait those are all my images i have this oh, i could have used this I have this 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 and yeah oh, i didn't see the first one yeah because the first one i remembered uh, okay let me just copy this i'll go here and this was shot with the um the canon lens i think it's with 17 to 40. this is kind of a the full shot and um i can play more with it but you know i will of course i'm gonna play more with with this so let me try to change it for instagram if i would post it on instagram this what i will get so that's pretty much it let me know what you think if you have any questions please comment and i'll see you in the next episode i'm orphan me baby peace